Welcome back everybody, my name's Ricky, this is Brennan, together we're ETFW, and today we're back We don't live in the no. <laughs> but we love the Blue got so many awesome spots, one of those being where we are tonight, we're in an old, abandoned, historic cemetery. Well, I don't know as much as abandoned, but definitely historic. This place has been known to be teeming with paranormal activity. Strange lights appearing, really crazy EVPs. Yeah, I mean, the goal is tonight, let's see if this place is as haunted as everyone makes it out to be. Let's see if ETFW can capture something. Let's bring you guys along for the ride. We have just hit 1k subs, that's absolutely awesome. Couldn't have done it without you guys. However, if you haven't subbed already, make sure you do. Jane, I see you. What the hell, Jane? Jane? Come on, you gotta scroll down. What's going on? Hit that sub button. Jane, why haven't you subbed yet? Man, Jane's tripping. I uh, know. Jane, come on, hit the sub button. Come on, Jane, helps us out massively and allows Big us time. to keep coming to these places. Make sure you hit the bell notification if you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, let exactly. us know what you think. Otherwise, that being said, I think we uh, better get into the episode. See you guys. Let's All do right. it. See you soon. Alright guys, so we're just having a bit of a walk around the cemetery. It's a pretty eerie, well pretty, really eerie place. There's one thing back there that I read that there is a family, the Bartley family, who apparently they had six children and the six, all six children died within six months of each other. All buried here from Scarlet Fever. These are the graves right here, right at the entrance. It's gnarly. There's also uh, other reports of a mi miner here, uh, not, not like a child miner, like a coal miner. Now, the story goes is that his name's uh, Thomas the Miner or Mick the Miner, one of the two. Now, apparently he's a bit of a malicious spirit. He hangs around here, he's been known to push people, um, like, like physically harm people and make people feel sick. There's another part of the story goes is that he will apparently hang on to people onto their back as if like a piggyback style thing, causing people to have back aches while they're here. And he will actually latch onto those people. So I mean, hopefully he doesn't. Rick's already got something latched onto him. So I don't really think he needs another one. Another part of the history with the paranormal sightings here as well is that towards the back of the cemetery where I'm headed right now, there's been a lot of orbs, blue lights, uh, a lot of really unexplained, really weird, I guess you could say, paranormal occasions, paranormal events that have happened here all towards the back. And the final interesting bit of the story with this whole place, a lot of it, is that there was a reverend about a hundred, hundred and something years ago here who apparently drowned at the back here uh, while crossing the river Let. So he, he and his horse were crossing through here at night. I think it was the eve of Christmas, it was Christmas Eve, I'm pretty sure when it was happening. And uh, there was a storm and the river was a lot higher than what it actually was and he was swept out and was killed. Now we actually thought it was back at another part of the river, but from what I found, it's apparently right here. So I'll just show you guys right here. We've got some graves here. This, this here is the whole area where all these orbs appear to happen. 
and right down there is apparently where the Reverend died. We're just being really careful not to step on any of the graves. They are very small gravestones, a lot of them. I'm just gonna head down to the river here and show you guys what it is that I'm talking about. I've been Santa Rick the whole time, is getting a really creepy, eerie feeling here. It's a pretty cool place though. All right, so this here is the river itself. So I'll just show you guys the river. So it may not look like a very large one, but that this is apparently a lot more full. And when he was <coughs> coming through, crossing through here, after visiting someone's house, this was a lot higher. He and his horse were swept through and uh, his body was found at a later date. Uh, unfortunately, died. Now he was originally buried here, but his, I believe anyway, the, either the gravestone, I'm pretty sure his body is still buried here, but the gravestone itself was taken up, was pulled out, and placed in one of the churches up um, in this area around here. So there's a lot of a lot of amazing history here. It's a beautiful place. Like Ricky mentioned, it's a lot like Garawara. It's a time capsule, uh, and it is it is a it's it's a public domain. The cem uh, cemetery you can just come here. Obviously, if you do though, just be respectful of the cemetery itself. There's a lot of history here, uh, and yeah, just be careful where you stand. You know, these are people who were buried here. That bird scared the shit out of me. Um, yeah, it's just it's just an amazing place. So, heading over towards Ricky, who's just doing some B-roll at the moment. It is really cool here. Honestly, I, I don't know, you get that kind of feeling. It's like I sort of mentioned at Garawara all that time ago. That's what I just said to them. It's, it's kind of got that um, time capsule feel. Mm. You know, it's just, it's so far away from civilization and in yeah. the middle of nowhere. And it's a cemetery that's just kind of been forgotten about. Consider it really lucky that this whole place wasn't destroyed. Yeah, I mean, credit to you the, know, get credit like, to the fireys. I mean, like, because it, it was like one of the worst bushfires in, in Australian history. Yeah, and you can you can see all around us. It's just burnt trees all around Everywhere. us. Everywhere. You know, I don't know what this cemetery was like before the fires. I don't know if it was, you know, more graves or anything. But hey, considering that this place is plagued with bushfires, I mean, yeah, it's pretty awesome that it still stands and it's still here and you can still come and see it, you know. Yeah. These sorts of places in time, they just vanish. Yeah. If no one looks after them, if no one takes care of them, if no one visits yeah, nature or takes just, it and yeah. it just becomes a relic lost in time yeah but it's insane like you can even see all the way up there like you guys can see at the very top of the mountain it's all fire damage so the fireys would have been fighting to yeah. try and preserve this just it's pretty cool gu guardian angels all right anyway we're going to uh, kind of gather ourselves and just get a plan for what take we're going to do take some photos take a bit of b-roll just soak it in a bit i yeah. think it's one thing we kind of forget to do sometimes when we go to locations <laughs> we kind of get there and we're like film 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 yeah, and well, we sort this of, is awesome so we get into it and we forget to just sometimes soak it in and take a few photos sit back kind of breathe it in for a little bit yeah so we're gonna do that and oh, yeah. we'll, and we'll catch back in with you guys in a minute alrighty we'll All see right. you soon see alrighty guys I think it's time to jump into a bit of an investigation now as you guys saw we set up a few of the motion activated LED balls around the place so again if anything trips those or triggers those they're gonna light up I've got the compass EMF reader we're in the most active part of the cemetery where Mick the Miner is believed to be active, I guess you say, where he believes to roam around. He's meant to be a quite full on spirit, apparently pushing, shoving, jumping on people's backs, weighing them down, making them feel quite sick. So I mean, I don't know, I hope we don't get any of that, to be honest. Also just down, as you guys saw in Brendan's kind of vlog, down near the river is where the Reverend drowned. So I don't know, this place is teeming with activity. It's creepy here at night. We're already kind of like, our eyes are playing tricks in us, we're already seeing things. I, th I say with that said, I say we jump into it. I guess if there's any spirits here with us tonight, my name's Ricky, here with my friend Brendan, me no harm. We'd just like to communicate, know your story a little bit, see if the rumors are true about this place. Got a couple of devices, one being the EMF reader. Feel free to pass through it, interact with it, make the lights on it spike. I've also got a compass here. Feel free to distort it, make it spin, make it point to different directions. Mick the Miner, if you're here with us tonight, are you able to interact with this EMF reader? Interact with the device in my right hand? Again, Mick the Miner, if you're here with us tonight, are you able to interact with us in any way? Or if there's any other spirits here with us tonight? Oh, something. 
Thank you for communicating. That's active as well. Look at that. The compass isn't really going. Are you able to stop interact? Are you able to stop interacting with this EMF reader? Dude. Oh, it's gone. Oh, let me see. That's weird. So again, to the spirit who just communicated with us through this EMF radar, you able to make it spike again if that was you, Mick? You able to make it stop? Dude, it's going. It stops as soon as I like put it towards me though. Like as soon as I put it towards me, it goes off just around here. Mick, are you able to make it spike all the way to red if that's you? you able to give us any sort of clear signs that you're here with us tonight? Anything other than this? Other than, other than... What? I swear I just heard footsteps behind me. I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything either. You sure? Yeah, man. It's not focusing. I know, it's tripping out hard. That light just on the right is one of our lights. So... Yeah, that's, that's our light, but no, I mean like I, it, I heard someone walking behind you. Dude, it's going again. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Do you see that? Okay. I don't know, I didn't hear anything. I can't see anything either. If that was you, that was the footsteps behind us, or if that's you interacting with the EMF radar, you able to give us another clear sign, interact with us in any way maybe, communicate with us or anything, any way you possibly can, interact with any of the, devi any of the yo, devices. Yo, yo, yo. How long was that going for? Uh, it just went. Okay. Okay. Thank you for communicating, thank you for interacting. If your spirit is still stucky because you maybe enjoy being a bit of a trickster, enjoy messing with people, you make this EMF reader spike for us. I don't know. It's weird to be honest, like I don't mind this method. It's it's definitely different to what we're used to. I mean, I can't do, I can't explain the cap all. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Like, I don't mind this method, but it feels really... Maybe Throw it's just because we're not used to it. Yeah, it throws you off a bit. You know what I reckon I do? Yeah. Because... We a lot. Yeah. And you know what they always show us here? EVPs. Yeah. Literally every single time they show us EVPs. Yeah, that's true. And that's the thing, we do EVPs, but we just don't put them on because we haven't really... We never get anything. Yeah. So let's um, try. Yeah, I mean it works for them. Let's give it a go. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna give a go to an EVP. We did feel a couple of light sprinkles coming on, so I think we're gonna kind of speed up the investigation here a bit. Let's just give it a try. Let's just see what we get. Is there is there anything here with us tonight? Is there any spirits that would like to communicate? All right, let's see. Wait, wait. All right, ready? Yep. Let's see if you can hear it. Is there anything here with us tonight? Any spirits here that would like to communicate? Bullshit. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe it. Hold on. Anything here with us tonight? Any spirits here that would like to communicate? Dude, I'm getting chills now. My heart is racing, man. Yes, man. My heart. Dude, I'm honestly shaking a bit. What the f is that, bro? Did you hear that flash? Yeah, it sounded like it came from the river. I don't know, do you reckon it might be like a kangaroo or something? Uh, Yo! Yeah, we, yeah, we did fucking. 
thinking of something that's over there well we saw kangaroos earlier we always said if we hear something we'll go towards it that was the camera picked it up yeah Dude, you go first, you go first. I don't know. Oh, you took the light. Because I got the camera. It's just over here. Dude, my heart is running right now. That was loud as shit. Alrighty, guys. Honestly, I don't know what the f was. We're both pretty shooken up. We're both pretty shaken up. That was like, I think I was somewhere like the bush. Dude, I'm hearing things. Edgy, so edgy I'm right edgy. now. That was pretty goddamn creepy, guys. It is starting to rain a little bit tonight. It's starting to come down on us. I think we're going to pack it up. We're going to head back to the car because, I don't know, we got all that gear out. It's all just going to get absolutely yeah. soaked. But, yeah, guys, we're going to head back to the car. We'll pick it back up once we're there and we'll do a little bit of an outro, maybe talk about what the hell just happened. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's starting to rain now. All right. All right, guys, we'll pick it back up in a moment. Let's go. All right. Two hours later. Just got back to our area. As you guys saw in the last few clips, we were pretty much done with the night anyways. Yeah. Um, we didn't know how much... We didn't know what the weather was going to be like. It was forecasting heavy rain all night and it was starting to sprinkle and come down on us. So we just thought we'd call it anyways. Funny enough, right as we packed up our gear, we saw headlights. <laughs> I mean, first reaction was shit, maybe cops. Yeah. <laughs> what have we done wrong? But it wasn't. It was a local who was, I guess, pretty adamant to say that we weren't able to film there. We obviously do our research on these places before we go and we like to kind of double check and just find out what the deal is. If it's private property, if it's not, if someone owns it, you know, it's always good to know those sorts of things before you head somewhere. Yeah. Nothing that we could find said that we couldn't film or we couldn't be there well there was a number that was on the fence there which we rang yeah. and the person that we spoke to did say that we are able to visit there anytime yeah as it's a public domain so i mean we didn't think that we would have any issues with it but yeah. we just he he the seems... guy the guy was there with like 15 people doing a tour group whatever yeah. so we just thought you know what it's just not even worth the argument yeah leave him be and we head yeah. off but in the event though however if any of like anyone there does own or run the uh, cemetery and has an issue feel with free it to contact please, us. yeah please do yeah. feel Free, feel free to contact us. If there's us. any sort of issue with the video or something, feel free to contact us. That's right, yeah. We're not trying to step on anyone's toes and we're trying to do what's right. In that extent as well, we're also going to keep the location of said cemetery uh, disclosed as well, just to help preserve the actual yeah. cemetery we, we itself. We understood where the guy was coming from. Yeah. He doesn't want, you know, he loves the place just as much as we love the place. That's so right, yeah. He doesn't want vandals and people coming and graffitiing and all that. We're not about that life either. So we understood in a way where he was coming from, but, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, we'll keep the location disclosed. I'm sure a keen eye will be able to figure it out but yeah we're not going to mention it and we'll let you guys figure it out for yourselves that's right with that said we're going to head off for the night if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe all the good stuff and until then we'll catch you guys in the next video see you then see you guys